frying pan. It had uh, paper clips for the uh, frets, and the neck was just roughed out of a uh, 2 by 4 And it was a banjo. When did you open up the shop? Well, I uh, started building banjos full time about six years ago. And uh, I always worked out in my garage, but I've been in this shop now for about two years. I think I've about thrown it. It's about time to get a real shop. Yeah, uh, when I started, it was just uh, that bandsaw and this belt sander. Everything else was just done by hand. But these tools help make, make the process faster, but the process hasn't really changed much. Uh, I love it. It's exactly the sound I had in my head. Um, I'd say it really matches your aesthetic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to play this thing a lot and uh, just kind of see what it turns into. Uh, you know, I'm getting ready to make a new record, so uh, this is definitely, definitely going to shape the sound of a few things I'm working on. I just like the fact that it's not some big, massive, you know, cumbersome, over-the-top instrument. It's going to fit in a regular case. Mm -hmm. um, and it only weighs like four pounds. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> easy to deal with. Um, you know, what I was looking at before was like twelve and a half pounds, and then mm -hmm. it's going to just <laughs> gigantic. You know, I don't, I don't want that.